Hi everyone, this is how we change the fit checker to customize it to your own dimensions in Tinkercad. What I'm going to do first is um, change the name of it up here in the upper right just so I have it straight. Um, we're going to scroll around and I'm going to first change the actual uh, text first. That gives me a little thing to remind me. The new sleeve size I need is 5.5. So I'm going to start with a 5.5 here. We click once on the text. You have to be careful to click the text. If you click into the, the uh, base of it, you're going to get it locked out. I've, I've locked that out just to make sure to prevent unnecessary editing there. So 5.55 would be the next length I would want or diameter I want. Uh, and then we're going to do 5.6. So that would be a 0.1 offset. Uh, you can also, you know, alternatively you could put plus 0.15 if you want to do it that way, but uh, I think I like 5.65, maybe without that plus. And then let's change this last one to 5.7, which would be a 0.2 offset. Uh, this is how I'm going to do a single print and check five different off or five different offsets in a single print. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on each of these green tires. Uh, or holes as you were. Um, the Tinkercad shape is called tire. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick a, a new hole diameter of 5.5. What it will automatically do is make a 5.5 diameter hole and automatically make a 3 millimeter um, thickness around that hole just like Blue Sky Bio does. We're going to click here and we're going to click 5.5 um, here and then click a thickness of um, I'm sorry, a new diameter of 5.55, and then a thickness of 3. Now, one thing that I, for one problem I might uh, foresee happening, I didn't hit enter there, is if you had too small of a diameter, you may actually exceed the size of the holes I carved out of the cylinder, and you end up with an island. So let's say, for instance, I put a diameter of 1. You're actually going to end up with a hole in the base, and that's no good. So what you'll have to do in those cases, let's say we're using a really skinny one like a cam log or something where it's only like 3.5 or a 3 millimeter hole, um, you'll see that there's still a rim of space around it. You'll have to increase the thickness of the uh, tire so that it encompasses the whole hole. Otherwise, you're going to end up uh, with a floating with something, a floating island, and that's not great. You don't want any gaps in there. So. Uh, if in doubt, just increase the thickness to make sure that you don't get a little strand of air in there. So I'm going to put this back to my 5.6 and then change my thickness back to 3. Hit enter after each one and it will recalculate the hole. Uh, I'm going to go here to 5.65. This is why I'm doing the text first, is that reminds me what I was supposed to do. I'm going to click over here, change this one to 5.7. Okay and then hit enter and now we have our holes uh, recalculated uh, for what I want. Now I'm seeing some round artifacts here and I don't want to make an orphan print. I mean I don't want to have little air gaps in between my tires and the base so what you can do is go back again change my thickness out to four and that's going to give me a slightly bigger tire size and make sure that I don't end up with an air gap uh, in between the base and the tires. Again, click on it, hit enter, change to change the thickness. Uh, if you want a taller, if you want a taller sleeve, say for instance you have a, a, a taller guide sleeve, you click here and change the height. I have it at five millimeters, but if you say you want a shorter one at three, click that and we'll go ahead and give you a shorter tire. Um, if you need it to go higher, you drag this little cone diagram, this cone here, and the black cone will let you move it up vertically up and down uh, until it's flush again. I'm going to undo that, but that's how you, that's kind of a quick basics in Tinkercad. Once you have your basic shape, you're going to hit export there. Uh, you're going to pick everything in design and hit STL, and then a little dialog box will show, pop up showing where to download everything. Yeah, this is a Vu. Thanks for watching.